I think the issue about feminism that people do not, that make people frown on it, is the lack of education. So in a few sentences, let me try and explain it. If you are a feminist, and you can be even if you're a man, what you're trying to say is, whatever respect you accord a man, accord it to me. That's all you're really saying. You're saying, if I go to look for a job, don't try to sexually harass me because you think that's what would get me the job when you know you wouldn't harass a man if he came. If I went to school and I'm qualified to hold this position, don't deprive me of it because I'm not a man. If I cheat on my husband, which God forbid, I hope it never happens. I'm just saying, if a woman falls short and makes a mistake in her marriage, in her relationship, don't tag her any disrespectful name. She's a person. She made a mistake. And then if a man did the same, you would have said, oh, <coughs> I'm a correct guy, and I'm a man. This is what feminism is. Now, I don't know how other people are explaining it, but if you see it from the perspective I just put, explained it, you will see that it's not that difficult. Respect me, just like you respect a man. That's the, the, that's the argument. And I feel personally that every man who has a mother and every man who's going to have a daughter or does have a daughter should be a feminist because you're fighting for your daughter to be respected. You know, I mean, why wouldn't you want your daughter to be of value to the society and everywhere she goes? So that's pretty much it. Yeah. So I don't another thing that I think also confuses, I mean, it makes sense what mm -hmm. you said. I, I mean, I, I, another thing that confuses a lot of people mm -hmm. is, you know, people say, I, I think it was Chimamanda who said once, my feminism is not Beyonce's kind of feminism or something along those lines. I'm not quoting exactly okay. her words now, but it was something that you saw. There's sort of different kinds of feminism okay. based on your your roots and all of that. Of course, Chimamanda is she's Nigerian. She grew up in Eastern Nigeria. She's a, from a Catholic family. So her experiences are definitely different from exactly. what a Beyonce would have gone through and all of that. Okay. So I guess that's where she was coming from. Okay. So but people misunderstand that to mean, okay, so there's different kinds of feminisms, right? But at the same time, you are, when you ask people questions, they also seem to have the rules of what feminism should be. So how do we really target? Is there, is there a standard barrier or should I deal with, if I'm, if I'm married to a feminist now, and I believe her qualities or whatever her rules of feminism should be, should it apply to everybody else? I don't, I don't know if I'm really making sense. You are. Yeah. Um, I don't know, <laughs> to be quite frank, because some people are black and they're not black. Yeah. No, no, just, let, let's, let's hold, let's that hold on. Okay. You know, so that you can think about it. Okay. <laughs> and we'll take a quick break okay. and when we come back, we'll conclude our conversation right here. Please tell me that. All right, welcome back. If you're just joining us, you've missed an interesting conversation. We're talking about divorce, relationships, marriage, and feminism. I just want to wrap up the conversation. Now, before the break, I'd asked uh, our guest here, Jennifer Mayer, about you know, the different kind of feminisms and how it should apply. There should be a blanket rule to everything. And you're going to answer quickly. I don't think so. I don't think there's a blanket rule to anything in life. Um, I just feel like it's a matter of who am I? You know, how valid? Like, do I know? You see what I'm saying? Like, do I know who I am? You, we all, as women, most importantly, we have to understand that our feelings matter. They are valid. When you're growing up as a girl, we're taught competition, even unknown to our parents. Hey, oh, Jennifer, don't do that. You're a girl. Almost like it's a problem that I'm a girl. Like, I'm who I am, and I'm always going to be who I am. So um, real quickly, my cousin got married last week. Nazi, shout out to you. Um, you know, everyone was kind of tearing up and giving her little advice here and there. And I was telling her, I said, look, in this thing called marriage, women can easily get lost. Somehow we have thought that we have to serve. It's just mental. We don't even, no one comes to a school and teach us. We just feel like, oh, oh, now man, now so then they do. And I want to be underneath. Yes, you have to respect your husband, but he's your partner. He's not your dad, who we know is above you. This man is your husband, your leader, but there's a teamwork thing going on here. So no, there's no one rule that goes across. I feel it's a matter of, as an individual, saying, what am I going to accept? What is enough for me? What can I go forward with? And I feel like it's only a matter of time till your partner jumps on board when he knows that you're not going to back down. At least that's what's happening in my case. Great. Very interesting. Just a final note. Very one sentence. If you can, I know there's, they say there's no rule to marriage. Yes. You know. If you, someone's getting married today and you're going to advise the person, especially seeing how marriage yes. sort of works these yes. days, what is the one thing you tell them to keep that marriage forever? One thing I would tell them to keep, to stay in the what marriage. What's the one thing you would tell them so that they could keep the marriage? Oh, they could keep in the marriage? Um, respect. Respect for self for and respect for the partner. Very good. Thank you very much, Jennifer, for being Thank here Thank you, today. sir. Very nice interesting to meet conversation. You. Please Thank do come back. I will. There's no way I'm not coming back. This is great. <laughs> Thanks for being here today. Thank we'll you. take a quick break now and talk some entertainment. Please stay with us. And just give me some